I would never suggest breaking a law, but it looks like we will have to average about 227 miles per hour to make it to the ceremony on time. I think you should check your numbers, Jacob. We should be fine. Remember, we have moved. Well, Jacob does have a point. If we sit in traffic for very long, the car becomes useless. What do you mean? Well, no car can travel safely at 227 miles per hour. Race cars can. But not on the highway. Good point, Catherine. Eventually, you'll discover certain limitations to any technology. Look at all the different forms of transportation that have been invented over the years. For example, hot air balloons, helicopters, flying cars, my own personal hovercraft, skateboards, pogo sticks. Wait a minute, Dr. D. Did you say your own personal hovercraft? That's right. Where did you buy a hovercraft? I didn't buy it. I designed it and built it. Wow, Dr. D. How did you build a hovercraft? And did it take long to build? Slow down, kids. Let me start by having you look at the device on the back seat. It's called a marble twister. This doesn't look like a hovercraft. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. What does it do? Put a marble on the track at the top and tell me what you see. It's going around in circles and gradually getting closer to the bottom. Very good. The marble twister illustrates iteration. What did you say? Iteration. It's part of the engineering design process. It's like a cycle. Wow, we've seen lots of cycles before, like the rock cycle and the water cycle. In this cycle, you develop a plan for your project, design and build a model, test and evaluate the model, and then begin the cycle again by redesigning the model based upon your test results. I get it. Then you test the redesign model, evaluate the results, and redesign the model again. That's just like the marbles. Each time you go around the cycle, you get closer to a finished product. Just like each time around the circle, the marbles get closer to the bottom. How many times do you need to go through the cycle? Well, the product is never perfect, so you just have to decide when it's close enough. This engineering design process sounds an awful lot like the scientific method, except the step about identifying or recognizing a problem isn't included. Actually, I just hadn't gotten to the first steps yet. In the engineering design process, the first step is called identifying a need or want. And then you brainstorm ideas like we did in the invention process, in the case of the right invention. Very good. The engineering design process is very similar to the invention process. After brainstorming, the next step is select a solution and do research. And then you develop a plan. That's it. And the cycle begins. Whenever you are facing a design challenge, the process we have just discussed will be very helpful. I can't imagine a more difficult challenge than this traffic jam. Trust me, Jacob, there have been bigger challenges.